there is a precise astronomical moment of the cross quarter. And the cross quarter is the point between the equinox and the solstice, in this case, between um, the March equinox, which marks the start of spring here in the Northern Hemisphere, and um, the June solstice. The equinox is when the sun is right overhead at the equator. In the June solstice, the sun is right overhead at the Tropic of Cancer up here. So we're right at the midpoint between those two, mm -hmm. which is um, at 16 degrees, 20 minutes north. So that's what the May cross quarter is. And where the sun is going to be uh, in just a couple of minutes, you know, pretty much there now, is directly overhead way out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, um, just south of Wake Island, uh, north of the Marshall Islands. Um, so that is near the heart of Earth's biggest ocean, even though it's all kind of one ocean. Um, so that's what, where we're going to be sort of focusing, because that is what we call the subsolar point. It's the place directly beneath the sun, where if you look up, the sun is directly overhead. Um, and that happens in just about four minutes from now. Uh, so in the Northern Hemisphere, we are in the heart of springtime, the midpoint in spring. And these differences in the seasons have to do with the way the Earth is tilted and the sun is angling in. In Nova Sutras, we celebrate science and spirituality together. Um, many religions have some kind of celebration at these eight points of the year, what we, we do as the octal meditations. Um, this one in the Celtic tradition is Beltane. And in a lot of Buddhist traditions, it's, it's this time of year and then the full moon, which is coming up in a few days, uh, that they celebrate Vesak Day or Buddha's birthday. Um, so this is a global phenomenon and that's part of why it's so important um, for those of us who are really trying to have a global consciousness to find celebrations that really are global. In Nova Sutras, we choose these eight times of the year to celebrate Agaya and Ubuntu. And Agaya is a term that encompasses the beauty and wonder of nature, the awe and reverence that we feel when we encounter nature, and that transcendent universal love that nature seems to be expressing in all of her great beauty and generosity. Ubuntu is a term borrowed from South African languages that refers to interconnection and interdependence. There is nothing alive that isn't deeply interdependent with other organisms, with other species. The air we breathe, we are only able to breathe because of the work that plants are doing. Because of all of these tiny photosynthesizers out in the ocean. Every morsel of food we eat comes to us because photosynthesizers can capture sunlight and take in water and air and build sugar, build sweetness and flavor, and this incredible diversity that feeds us and feeds every animal on this earth. So when we say Ubuntu, we are definitely and always thinking about the connections between people, but we are also thinking about all of those connections in the more than human world. So to really open sacred space as we move into the cross quarter, we'll start by calling the corners and sending out our invitations that all beings abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu, that all beings may live in this celebration of interdependence and beauty and wonder.
and reverence. So usually I like to start where the sun is relative to where I am. Right now the sun's just setting in the west or will be in a couple of hours, honestly. So I'll start there, go around the compass directions, up and down, and then we start from where we are and radiate out. And if you like, um, you can uh, follow along out loud. You can face in the different directions if that's comfortable for you to do so. Um, and certainly as we get to the, you'll get the rhythm of it, abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu portion. Uh, please, please do um, feel that as deeply as you can. And if you feel moved to say it out loud, please do so. May all beings to the West abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the North abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the East abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings to the South abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings above abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings below abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May each one of us where we are abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings near us abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings in our watersheds abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings in our bioregions, in the ecosystems around us that are like ours, may all of those beings abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings on this great continent, Turtle Island, abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings in Earth's great oceans abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all the beings belonging to Earth's beautiful, bountiful, beneficent biosphere abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. Now I invite you to settle in, get comfortable, let your body drop in, feel the way the earth pulls you in, embracing the weight of you, supporting you. Feel the way the breath moves in and out of you. Feel that energy moving into your chest. Feel the blood moving out to your fingertips, to your toes, to the top of your head filling you with energy, with ability, connecting you with all life. Take another deep breath in and let yourself be filled with a Gaia. And then on your next exhale, send out Ubuntu.
send out connection. Reach out toward all beings with your gratitude and your love. Feel that inner connection and support from all of these allies, seen and unseen, all around the world. Think of us now on this amazing planet in this stunningly beautiful universe. Basking in beauty. Depending on each other to survive in the hard times, to celebrate in the good times. We're traveling together through space, orbiting our sun as it orbits the center of our galaxy. Think of the sun shining on the face of the earth. Think of it shining down over the wide expanse of the Pacific. And imagine yourself there now, looking directly up at the sun, feeling it warming and enlivening you. As we stand there together, perhaps on a wide, calm raft in the warm ocean breezes, the sun right above us warming the crown of our head, we look down. There are no shadows, but directly beneath us. Imagine the intensity of that warm tropical sun filling your being with light. Envision us there together, taking in the warmth and light of the sun and allowing it to radiate out from us as a Gaia and Ubuntu. Imagine that concentration of a Gaia and Ubuntu spreading out across the ocean. touching distant islands, touching the edges of Asia and Australia and North America, South America. Imagine sending a 
Gaia and Ubuntu out to every being touched by the light of this cross quarter sun. Imagine all of that Agaya and Ubuntu moving out to touch all beings in the dark of Earth's night. Imagine us standing together, sending Agaya and Ubuntu all around our beautiful little home world and shining it out into space. All the love, all the wonder, all of this great beauty created by our Mother Earth, sharing it with the universe, offering it up as a gift. Offer it now as a gift to all the people you interact with, all the people you love, all of those who are far away from you right now. Imagine offering the gift of Ubuntu and Agaya to strangers whose stories you've heard. Imagine offering it as a gift to people who live in places you know you will never walk. Imagine offering it as a gift to every being you encounter. The territorial hummingbird, the flowers blooming in the neighbor's garden, the great trees with their roots deep in the soil and their branches stretching skyward. Offer them the gift of Agaya and Ubuntu. Feel your own body like the trees reaching deep down into the earth with your roots, like the trees stretching toward the heavens, connecting heaven and earth together. conduit of energy moving back and forth. Feel the strength of your muscles, your bones. Feel the weight of them. Feel the breath moving in and out of you. Inhaling Agaya. Exhaling Ubuntu. Inhaling Agaya. Exhaling Ubuntu.
Take a few more nice deep breaths. Feel your body settle back in. Start to wiggle your toes. Start to wiggle your fingers. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch your neck. And then when you're ready, just very gently open your eyes and come back into the place you are. Still feeling all that nourishment of a Gaia and Ubuntu running through you. These are just, you know, the, the usual reminders that um, there's a lot of material online and we have various um, social media outlets and uh, you can find us on Insight Timer with a discussion group. Of course, you can support the organization uh, either with a one-time donation on PayPal or um, with regular donations through Patreon. Um, we're also looking for people to work and I know most of you are already uplifters so that's great to see. Um, if you think of other people who would appreciate these events who are coming from that same um, dedication to caring for the earth, uh, we would love to to bring them in and to offer what we can to support them in their, in their work as change agents. Things that we have coming up, um, there is a full moon on Thursday, so we'll be doing a guided meditation um, at that, again, at that sort of astronomical moment of fullness, which is uh, right around uh, 5.30 Pacific, so that would be 8.30 and you could actually go out and see the moon in Virginia. Um, <laughs> Did that tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, um, you know, it's been, it's been beautiful in this afternoon, evening, waxing moon. I keep going out yeah. and uh, having a look. And uh, mm -hmm. again, the, the way that the earth and moon are set up, that we get to see these changes to the moon every day. Uh, it's just such a useful and important reminder. Um, there will be a conversation on grief um, on Saturday the 9th. And we're probably going to also do more open discussions, um, but I need to have that conversation and get those scheduled with the folks who want to do that. Um, but those will be coming up soon and at various times. Uh, so all of that will get posted on novasutras.org slash events. Uh, in addition to our next octal meditation, so the next seasonal one like this will be, of course, the June solstice, um, which is uh, mid-afternoon Pacific time. So we'll start at 2 p.m. Pacific for the online meditation. And who knows, by then we might be able to also see each other in person. Um, <laughs> Maybe not up close, maybe no hugging, but at least a <laughs> somewhat more masked, mask to mask, as our friend Nancy was saying. Um, so, uh, but I do hope you'll join us for the online meditation. And I haven't, haven't posted the registration links for that yet, but that will happen within the next day or two. Um, so that's been our cross-quarter celebration. Thank mm -hmm. you.